Hello and welcome to another video in our series of Tell Me About from me, Para of 3 Commando. And today we're going to be looking at the Gimpy. No, not that type of Gimp. <laughs> we're going to be looking at the general purpose machine gun, or the British designation, which is called the L7A2. What a beast! The L7A2 general purpose machine gun, or the GPMG as it's well known, is a 7.62 by 51mm belt fed general purpose machine gun. The 7.62 machine gun is designed for general purposes, and it can be used either as a light machine gun fired from a bipod, or fired from a tripod and used in the sustained fire roll as we've mentioned. It may also be fired from a vehicle mounting on ground and air targets. It's fully automatic, it's belt fed, gas operated, capable of a sustained high volume of fire and bursts, it's simple, sturdy in construction, easy to learn and fire, and stoppages are rare and can be easily and quickly remedied. The Jimpy is air cooled, the barrel is chrome internally to reduce wear, the belts are disintegrating links factory filled packed in 200 round belt boxes, the maximum range in the light roll is around 800 metres. Flash is reduced to a minimum by means of a flash illuminator and specially designed gas regulator. The bipod legs can be folded and locked, and the trigger guard can be removed to allow the trigger to be operated under arctic conditions when arctic gloves are to be worn in combat. The carrying handle is raised to carry the gun and lowered for firing. It's also used for helping to exchange the barrel after sustained fire. The Gimpy has an interchangeable barrel which is mainly used on sustained fire roll, not really used by patrol sections, and it can be mounted onto most vehicles used in the British Army and has been used in Afghan a few times by UKSF with dual mount on MWIX. It's pretty much used across the whole of the British Army. In the Royal Marines it's currently a troop level weapon within a rifle troop, and it's used in the light roll to augment the LMGs in the rifle sections although it does not get used down to section level. In a sustained fire role, it's used by the fire support group in each rifle company. I used to play the medic role in 3 Commando before I moved up to the Jimpy, and I can tell you now you need beast blood for this weapon. This thing is a beast! Initially I wasn't too sure, I thought it would be cumbersome and just, uh, just no fun to use, but this thing is a beast. It is so much fun to use this thing. Because you know as soon as you pull that trigger, whatever's on the other end is fucking dead. Yes, it's a great weapon. If you get the opportunity to use the Gimpy, take it. Most people in the Marines and the British Army at the minute don't have a sight on top. But obviously if you're playing this for fun rather than the actual milsim aspect, then slap something on top of it and you've got a killing machine. Absolutely brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I create these videos on my own out of just interest for doing it for myself and uh, if you've got any questions or any different aspects in the Armaholic universe that you'd like me to cover or have a look at leave them in the box below and I'll consider them in the meantime I've been Para from 3 Commando thanks for watching and you've been looking at the Gimpy see you on the battlefield soon adios